Pastor saying to us, be a success for God. Our opening scripture comes to the book of Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 2. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. Each one of us is ordained of God to be very successful. But you can't really be a success until you know God's plan for your life. You could be a success for you or for those cheering you on. But being a success for God is what counts. A success for you means you've achieved your goals and your dreams. A success for the world means you fulfill the worst dream and expectation of you. But these aren't true success. True success means you've achieved God's goals and dreams. Success for life means your accomplishment on the basis of God's calling, His vision, dream, and plans. And it always has to be done in God's way, not man's way. You measure success at different points in your life. In academics, for example, if you were in class one and you were successful in your exams, that's success in that class, not class two or three. Someone else who is in class two or three will be measured accordingly. When you get to a higher class, you again be rated by the corresponding standards and requirements of that class. So, success is relative. Be determined that at different stages of your life, you'll be very successful in line with God's plans for your life. The most important thing to you shall always be, what does God want? What does He think? That's the only way you can know whether or not you're successful. And remember, His will, plan, and purpose will always be consistent with His Word, the Scriptures. There are many who don't care to know what God thinks. Some don't even think that God has an individual plan for their lives to care for them. But the truth is, He does. The Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 of the New International Version. He not only cares, he has a plan that's not only communicable, but one that can and must be actuated. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Lord, thank you for leading and guiding me into your plans, visions, dreams, and purpose for my life. My only passion is the expansion of your kingdom, propagating Christ's love, and the salvation of souls around the world. I'm deeply committed to your heartbeat, increasing the influence, impact, spread, and penetration of the gospel here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 to 16. Acts chapter 26, verses 16 to 18, and 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 to 15. The one-year Bible reading plan, please read Revelation chapter 1 and Daniel chapters 11 to 12. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 18, verses 28 to 40, and 2 Chronicles chapter 17 to 18.